Well, hey there folks and welcome back to the Pits of YouTube and I'm here to tell you that you are doing eBay wrong. If you watch this video, I'm going to tell you how to do eBay right. And while you're here and while we're all together, we're also going to thrift a shop, a thrift shop of the variety of a store. <music> Now, I watch a ton of YouTube. I'm a YouTube junkie. Name a topic, I've probably watched a video about it. An unhealthy amount of YouTube. Even my doctor said my cholesterol is great, but my YouTube organ definitely needs some recovery time. And I truly love and value watching other resellers continuing to learn. In fact, I promote YouTube as the single best learning tool for resellers or people that are curious about how to learn to resell online. I point them to YouTube. Well, I would say second best. First, first hand experience is always the best teacher. Second, I would say is YouTube. And third is just listening to strangers like me tell you how to live your life. And we're off to the thrift shop called the thrift shop. Pretty amazing. I found this free box of books. Didn't expect to find what I found in here. Uh, usually free stuff is you get what you pay for. However, I did find this awesome book. I don't know how to say it. it's in French and, uh, Pardon me, Francais. I don't know it, but it sells for 50 bucks on eBay. Pretty awesome. I found two copies of this neck book. Uh, sells on Amazon for a little over $7. They're free. It's not a lot of profit, but I'm going to make over a buck on each of those. And it's a free couple of dollars. Those books actually ended up being some of the better finds of the day. On this media, I'm, uh, first thing I'm looking for is obscure titles and things that are sealed in the box. So I'm pulling them out first before I use the old Amazon app to scan the titles in. And VHS, some VHS actually do have money. And this one ha happened to be open, so I just put it back anyway. Uh, I did find this next DVD, which was, I uh, don't know what it is, but uh, didn't have a great sales rank, not much sales history. So I put that back. Uh, same with this, this was actually open, so I put that back. And then I found the first DVD score of the day. Again, not much, I, uh, buying it for a dollar, it sells for about, uh, a little over 11 bucks. I'm going to make about $4. Trading spaces, put this back. No good. They hated it. So how do you do eBay wrong? Or what I should say is, so how do you do eBay right? If you talk to 50 different resellers, you're most likely going to get close to 50 different opinions and answers from every reseller on how to, how to do eBay, how to resell online. And there's a lot of good advice and maybe some bad advice out there on how to become successful as an online reseller. From the inventory they buy, where and how they choose to buy it, where and how they choose to sell it, how they ship it, their profit margin, their entire business models and processes can be completely different than one another. It's all about what works for them. Some sellers are full-time, some sellers are part-time, some sellers are no-time because they're not resellers at all. Some folks out there are just trying to make a few extra bucks by cleaning out their completely dirty closets. And if you've seen in my videos before, First off, I'm sorry. I sell across a variety of platforms, mostly on eBay, Amazon, a little bit of Mercari. I even sell at my own garage sales on occasion on Facebook Marketplace. And I also buy and sell across many different categories. Toys, movies, video games, clothing, board games, electronics, kitchen stuff, house stuff, you name it. Generally, if it makes me money, I'll sell it. I'm like a retail pimp. Not everybody likes selling everything. And then there are some folks out there who only sell on eBay. There are some folks out there who only sell on Amazon. Some only on Poshmark. Some only on whatnot. And some folks only sell books. Some folks just want to sell toys. Some people just want to sell video games or clothes. Some folks just want to sell churros. If you haven't had a churro, I highly recommend. I even know a guy who makes a killing selling specifically vintage postcards. And then in terms of sourcing stuff, some people don't like to go to garage sales. Some people don't like to go to thrift stores. Some people only go to garage sales. Some people only go to thrift stores. There are so many options and variables in this online reselling industry that it's mostly about folks just finding out what works for them. And then on top of that, different people have different business models. Some people don't want to even touch an item unless it can return a 50 or 100 or 150% ROI. And then there are folks out there who say they they don't want to sell anything unless it's going to make them 10, 20, 30, 40 bucks. And they don't even get out of bed for anything that's not going to bring them $25 profit. I'll get out of bed for a $2 profit if it makes sense. Not always, but two bucks is two bucks sometimes. And actually one of the only things that can keep me in bed is doggy snuggles. I know a lot of resellers don't like doing used board games. I actually love it. I found this Monopoly Millennials game. Sell it for about 20 bucks on make about eight on Amazon. It can be a little pain in the butt to make sure all the pieces are inside these games, which is why I think a lot of people avoid them. Plus the shipping costs on eBay. But on Amazon, I sell a ton of used board games. It doesn't take me much time to go through the pieces, so I love it. Again, media looking for stuff that's sealed inside 
the uh, the package here don't know who this is not a great sales rank not much money into this i put that back that that musician did not make a new fan of me i found this uh, rebecca spencer sells for eight bucks i'm buying it for a dollar i'm gonna double my money but it's not the best but hey i'm here it's a buck so how do you do ebay wrong or what i should say is so how do you do ebay right and at the heart of that answer i think is just to be an honest seller have some integrity as a person and make sure you're having fun because if you're not having fun doing this then why are you doing it there's so many cool gigs and side hustles why force yourself to fit into some online reseller box getting in the shoes here and i did find a really great pair of these patagonia sandals which they were selling for eight dollars it's a it's a steep price however it is patagonia if you're a person a human of the earth you know patagonia is an awesome brand and they usually get a premium for their stuff i was actually shocked their patagonia sandals do not sell for much 15 20 25 dollars with shipping i put these back just because there's just not enough money uh buying these at eight dollars i did find this hat i picked it up because it was vintage looking a nantucket hat and it doesn't look like a flashy hat but i was actually shocked when i looked up they seem to sell from 15 25 up to 50 dollars plus so i was uh, going to buy this but i threw it on the floor first i noticed there are some some stains i'm not sure going to show if they're going to show up on camera at all but they're the, the bill of the cap is also severely bent in the middle but uh, I, I do know for the future that I'll be looking for these vintage Nantucket hats. So it's pretty cool. I learned this new today. Then we're going back to media section, looking again for some, some sealed DVDs and obscure titles. Found this, and I was restricted from selling this on Amazon. So I requested approval on the spot. Sometimes it goes through, sometimes it doesn't. This one wanted full permission from the distributor, uh, the company of the DVD. And you can certainly do that. Uh, I did not want to go through that for for these for these particular DVDs, but it's something you can do in, in Google and YouTube about it if you're interested. Found this old Nikon Cool Picks. Don't be afraid of these. Some of these have real value, even the old ones. Why I I don't know, but uh, this one sells for roughly 35 bucks, all in inclusive of shipping. I put this one back because the battery cover doesn't quite shut. Uh, so I left this behind, but cool find. Try stuff. It's a trial and error process. So find out what works for you. And some days suck as a reseller, but some days are absolutely magical. And on occasion, you'll hear from other resellers or just strangers at large that you're doing eBay wrong. You're doing your online reselling wrong. And sure, maybe there is some truth to that, which is important. It is a good idea to check out your process to see if everything's in order and see if there's room for improvement anywhere. But generally, not everybody has the same goals with reselling. Not everybody has the same business model. So don't forget that no matter what size of the criticism that you're on, whether you're the one criticizing or the one receiving. And just like anything, if you stick with it long enough and you give some consistency to it, you will find success. And it's a truly wonderful world. And I'm not just meaning like the planet Earth. I'm talking about the online reselling world. I know there are a lot of resellers out there that feel the same. I should say you'll know if you're doing eBay or online reselling wrong because either eBay or some of these other platforms will tell you that you're doing wrong or your customers will tell you that you're doing wrong and you won't be reselling anymore. So thanks for hanging out guys and I'll see you guys on the wilds.